Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video, one I'm very excited about because, yes, we have another speed tune for you using Razzlebarg. Now, I this is brand new. It came to me from Short on Skills, one of my moderators, one of my teammates, team members. Amazing. Um, and I have to really quickly, I, I don't know if you guys how aware you are of this, but anything that has come up here, yes, occasionally I work on this stuff on my own, but never is the final product just me alone. Getting this in the calculator, I have to give a big shout out to Safira for being able to Im implement that. Getting the speed tune and the spirit affinities and all that stuff working. Another big shout out to people like Bobo, Short on Skills. I have so many members of my team that are just so important to making this thing work. I just want to let you guys know, it's never all just me. There is a full team behind me, and those people deserve their flowers too. So I just want to say thank you to you guys for helping out. Um, I should say that the previous speed tune I have with Razzleberg is still something that we're still speed, uh, fine tuning. So by the time you see this video on the website, it should be fully updated with uh, perfect speeds for spirit affinity. Everything I've shown works for void and for the other affinities, but it can has a possibility of breaking for spirit. So I just want to give you guys that update in case you are trying to build this team. Um, but today we're going a different route. Yeah, we're going with another clan boss team. Same kind of idea, but this is the Rabbat Eater. Uh, do you get that? Do you get that one? Rab bat eater, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We're bringing the rabbit in with secret, a couple of man eaters, and we're going fully unkillable. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. I mean, basically, we're adding another damage dealer in um, in the rabbit to a normal man eater team, and we're going really nice. Now, the speeds are actually, I don't know, they're like fast, but they're not fast always a little tricky and i have to say this with any of these razzle varg tunes the numbers are going to be really really tight so make sure uh you're looking at this on the website i'll try to link that in the description and uh in the uh pin comment of this video but make sure to read all the notes on that because the speeds could get really really tight like really really tight so anyway let's go ahead take a look at the team and then we'll jump in the run Hey, just a friendly reminder, if you haven't already, take a moment and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss the next one of these videos that comes out. And of course, if you guys need help with your account, you can go to my website, deadwoodjedi.com, where I'll be happy to look at your squad and make whatever improvements are needed to be made. But, you know, when I'm doing that, I still want to play my own account. That's why I use Bluestacks, which you'll find linked down below in the pinned comment and description of this video. Bluestacks is a great way to run multiple instances of the game on your computer at the same time. And if you enjoyed today's music, we have that Soundstripe link down below in the pinned comment and description of this video as well. Use code DEADWOODJEDI, save 15%. So as you can see, I got Razzlevarg here just balling out. Uh, we're going to open uh, with our A3. That's going to be our prioritized skill, then A2. We don't have to really do any changes there. A Nax we're going to have is our damage dealer, which is kind of unique. He has an ability to, you know, get an extra turn if his HP goes down to zero, basically. And so I just wanted to show that this does work with him. You can always bring in somebody else. That's totally fine. Be careful using someone like Jintoro or Turvold. I'm not saying they can't work, but I haven't found those numbers yet. So if those are champions that you want to use, make sure to stay updated on the website. Keep checking the tune periodically as obviously we're going to be coming up with more and more stuff over the next couple of weeks here. Um, then we got Seeker here. Seeker's obviously amazing, but he's going to be able to do some damage for us. And then the final two man eaters. So nice, simple team. One of the man eaters, the slower of the two. I do have to manual a one turn delay in here. So that's the only negative about this team. It's not full auto, but it's darn close. So let's jump in and uh, we'll do the run here. So here we go. We open up, right? I have it all set on auto to work full auto on turn one here. And then I just need to manual this first. He's just going to do his one. But the second man eater, I need to make sure that I A1. And then it's full auto. And it's a beautiful thing. We're going to get in a lot of attacks. So just remember here, we've got Razzleberg going at a 3-1 ratio. We've got the man eaters actually going at a 5-2 ratio. That means one's taking three turns and the other's taking two turns. This is how we're able to keep unkillable up every turn because then they're going to alternate, right? So one's taking three and one's taking two. The next turn, the other one's taking three and the other one's taking two. Oh, hit my mic there. Anyway, you guys get the idea, right? Uh, and so that's how we're able to keep the unkillable up. That is why the speeds on this team are rel relatively fast for a Razzleberg tune. Two man eaters going about 270 speed with the aura 
Um, definitely something to kind of keep aware of, but honestly, this is pretty darn slow overall, um, which I think is actually pretty remarkable. Part of that's the aura that we got from Razzlevarg, and part of that's just Razzlevarg going again and again and again, which is really nice. And we're getting a lot of good damage from Seeker. We're getting a lot of good damage from Anax. So this is definitely a team that can do some pretty crazy numbers um, as it goes through. So I'm really excited to see kind of how this goes here. So we're gonna wanna, I kinda wanna give you guys a sneak peek of like just watching this work here because we get that increased attack buff from Seeker. This is why man eater teams are so good, right? Affinity friendly always. So nice, so nice to watch. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let this run here. We'll play some fun music for you guys. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll come back at the end and see exactly how much damage is going here because I'm expecting, I'm expecting big numbers. I'm expecting triple digits, expecting big triple digits. So let's see, let's see how this works. I did a quick wardrobe change. I come back to 136 million. That's not too shabby. What I think is most impressive is Raz actually out damaged Seeker and Seeker is a damage dealing champion for most of these type of teams. Pretty impressive. And Axe did 46, obviously great, right? Full blessings too with Phantom Touch and has poisons, but Raz did 36 million in the raw. It's not a bad result at all. So yeah, obviously, you know, this team can put up some good numbers. Let's look at the champions. So we can start looking at the champions with Razzlevarg. I have Raz going at 239 speed. Now I'm gonna be very upfront. Speed ranges on this comp seem to be very slow. I have not finished testing it. I don't have full ranges yet. When I do, I'll put it on the website and I'll try to link that in the description and uh, in comment of this video so you guys can go check it out. But just be aware, the speed ranges that we found so far are very, very tight. Um, and so you're definitely going to need to be very careful building this team. So that's definitely the biggest negative about the squad, but Raz going 239 speed. Uh, obviously I have them pretty stacked out. Um, again, avoiding any counterattack masteries. So we didn't go defensive tree, but we got 6,100 defense or attack, almost 6,200 attack actually. Um, 249 crit damage, pretty solid accuracy is way more than I need, but it's just kind of in the build. And then we've got Anax, amazing damage dealer. I just built the, I just built it all to the nines, right? 7,100 attack, 99% um, crit rate. Couldn't get that 1% there, but 288 crit damage. I figured it was worth it to get those numbers. So very fun champion with a bunch of attack stuff. Seeker's kind of the same. I went, built him as full attack as I could. Almost 5,000 attack, which on Seeker, because of his low base of 1,000, is actually really, really good. Um, five times his base is pretty solid, I would say, as far as... Uh, Attack build up 268 crit damage, not too shabby as well. And he's going at 217 speed. Now, 
Uh, 217 speed is pretty good, but it's obviously these numbers are really, really tight. So just be aware of that. And then we have our two man eaters. I'm just going to kind of lump them into one little commentary. Uh, they're both going about the same speed, 271 speed. They're actually both going exactly the same speed at 271 speed. I built them with 100% crit rate. That was my goal to get the speed and then just pump the damage as much as I can, which was okay, right? They're solid damage dealers. So you definitely want to build crit rate and crit damage and attack on them as best you can. Uh, these two, I think, have a little bit more range in the speeds that you can utilize for them. Um, but obviously, you know, this 271, 272 kind of speed allows one to go three turns on one turn and then two on the next, and then they're flip flopping. And it's a really, actually, really great way to be able to utilize these champions because they have that five turn cooldown. This is why we often have to bring in a pain keeper to like make it a four turn cooldown. But being able to utilize them without a pain keeper just opens another damage slot and gives us a lot more damage potential on this team overall if i was really building this out i pay attention more to the debuff bar see if we're filling it up and maybe i'd put one of these in a toxic set but as it was i think it worked pretty good well that's the team that's the run the rabbat eater i like that name rabbat <laughs> the rabbat eater i think is a very good comp and something that i think a lot of people are going to be able to utilize fully if you're one of those people that's doing a bad eater team and you're only being able to two key i think a rabbat eater would be able to push that to one key even without super great gear right you're basically adding another damage dealer to that team and the great thing is the speeds are actually slower when you think about it in a bad eater team you have one champion that's 167 or faster in this you have two champions that are you know are 267 or faster excuse me in this you have two champions that are 271 that's not a huge difference for like four speed but the thing about the bad eater is you have Three other champions that are 240 and faster in this, that's just Raz, right? Uh, even your damage dealer, who's usually 220 for the bad eater, 218, both Seeker and Anax were slower than that. So I think the speeds on this are much easier to attain for most people out there. And I think that's the big advantage of this comp. So if you're trying to do a bad eater team and you have the rabbit and you have all the other pieces, I recommend doing the rabbit eater. Um, obviously, you know, we're still, you know, fine tuning all the speeds and stuff. But once we have those out, you guys will have it. It'll be on the website. And that's probably the challenge with this is the speeds are very precise. So you're going to need your glyphs, save your glyphs. Um, but other than that, it's a really nice tune. So thanks again to Short on Skills for coming up with this bad boy and sending it to me. And uh, yeah, that's all we got, guys. If you enjoyed these tunes, if you enjoy this stuff, the things I give to you guys in the community, please, please, please take the time, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you don't miss when one of these videos drops because, I don't know, I think they're pretty cool and worth not missing at all. I miss a lot of stuff because I don't subscribe or I don't hit that notification bell. That's specifically on a lot of people's channels. And I'm always constantly going back through their videos during the week. Hitting that notification bell saves you all that trouble. So I recommend doing that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Until next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.